You gotta put the cock in your face. Well, I know. I'm just leaning back so it's not in my face when I'm not using it. Are we going yet, Zach? I, yeah, I, there's lights all over the place. I can't see. Thumbs up. You can talk. Hello, Zach. Yeah, it's good. Giving you hand signals. Oh, where you... Yeah, don't give me hand signals. I'm not fucking looking at you. Jesus Christ, why is this always a thing? Every fucking time. Hey, welcome to our little podcast, wherever you guys are at, day, night, wherever in the world. Um, all 10 viewers of us. What's going on? What do we got? 17. 17 viewers, yep. Wow. 17 viewers or subscribers. Subscribers. I'd imagine 17. If they're not viewing, then they're not real people. I'd imagine those are like accidental subscribes, though. How so? Just, I can't imagine people watch us. What? <laughs> I watch us. This is the only thing I watch when I'm going to sleep. Are you one of our subscribers? I'm not. You're not either. No. <laughs> I'm not even subscribed. Wow. <laughs> Why would I want one of these videos to come up on my uh, front page? On your feed. Yuck. Yeah. Well, it's like we're here. <laughs> we're doing it in person. Do we really need to <laughs> go in there and watch how ridiculous it is a second time? I have to go back and rewatch all this bullshit <laughs> and try to figure out what I can cut out. And I never do. I just watch it and then put it up. I don't care. That much I, that's one thing i realized that i'm putting lack of effort into this and i'm doing it so i should be putting effort into it other than just having to come out here and set up lights and cameras all the time it's not like we're ruining lives though it's not like we're throwing people under the bus and talking about we do throw, secrets we do we do throw people under the bus I don't we have. remember, and he just said he instance. was too lazy to bleep out names or anything like that. For so. the most part, <laughs> for the most part, yeah. I've, well, I've got I'm somewhat busy. We have lives. We kind, have lives. Kind of. I need a table there so I don't have to lean over and put it down. So what's going on? What do we got? What would you like to talk about, Andrew? Just how are you guys? <laughs> Anything going on in your uh, daily lives? I know you just got a new vehicle. We did just get a new vehicle. And what a pain in the ass it was. So I took off for Seattle thinking that I worked 12 hour shifts thinking that I could actually make it over and back. Uh, leaving at 7 o'clock in the morning and get back by 7 o'clock at night so I could continue to work with no sleep. But uh, my wife freaked out because it's an electric vehicle. Um, she freaked out on the range in Ritzville. So Ritzville is about 56 miles from where I live. And she said, we're not going to make it, man. I said, we'll be fine. So anyways, we stopped there and, and charged and uh, came home. And I missed work. A day of pay. Hmm. What do you need help with? Just tightening it so it doesn't keep uh, slinking down. Yeah, so that's 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 all I've got. Um, my wife wears these and the other exciting thing that happened was I'm out. This fucking car does not have a, a back windshield wiper. It's just, odd. It has an overhang, so it doesn't get all that dirty. But is it a hatch? Is it a hatchback? It's an SUV with a with a lift gate. Yeah. Oh. Um. But I was out there cleaning it because I want her to be safe, and we're getting ready to go. Me and her, we're gonna go charge up the vehicle, <clears throat> and. uh I'm out there cleaning the window, and all of a sudden I hear this. <laughs> She's going down the fucking stairs. I get, get down to the bottom of the stairs. What she had done is she had taken a hoodie. She had thrown it down the stairs instead of walking it down the stairs and putting it in the laundry. And she has these fucking boots with heels that are that long. So she hit that fucker, and she didn't stop. It was forever that it took her to make it down the stairs. I go down there, and she's laying. First off, I open up the garage door. And I hit her in the fucking head with it because I'm trying to get in really quick, right? Hit her in the fucking head with it. And then it was like she's laying on the ground face down crying. And it was like, what the fuck? And I bitched at her that she doesn't need to wear the shoes anymore or throw shit on the stairs. She said, it's fine. I tried to catch myself. I couldn't catch myself. She's all bruised the fuck up right now. So that's the only exciting stuff I've had happen in my yeah. life. Yeah, she fell down the stairs. We've all heard this one before. <laughs> She birthed lasagna or something, didn't she? It could have been one of my kids that pushed her. I don't know. But yeah. So that was, that was, don't, ladies, 
don't wear stupid shoes. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Especially in the house. Especially in the house. Uh, another thing that she does is she doesn't she doesn't wear shoes in the house, and then she goes in the in the kitchen and she plays with knives, and she's damn near cut her toe off before doing that. Yeah, has your wife ever done that, or your girlfriend? Dropping a knife? Yeah, Absolutely. just accidentally oh, drop yeah. a knife, and they got yeah. no fucking shoes on in the kitchen. I jump back as soon as I can, and that's you know like kitchen cooking one hundred and one. But you're right; people will just sit there and watch it fall or try and catch it, and yeah. that's. Try to catch it with their foot. Well. Yeah, try I, to catch I, I it with just, your toes. I just let fate decide things. I mean, it's like it's like if I don't know. You remember that movie Volcano? Tommy Lee Jones. No. Back in '95, it's about a volcano oh. sprouting up in the La Brea tar pits in California. Hmm. Oh well. The scientist lady tells people when the little magma balls shoot up into the sky to wait. Mm-hmm. And then when you're sure where it's going to land, then you move. It's kind of like that. Although, not nearly as much time in between, but still, same general idea. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're you're freaking out all around, it could, you know, hit your arm on the way down. It could, you know, it's not just your feet that are in danger when knives are (laughs) flying through the air. I feel like that was a Final Destination kill as a knife that was falling and ended up, I don't know. Going through someone's jugular. Well, there's been like six or seven of those movies, so it's definitely possible. I think they're remaking. I think they're coming out I hope or like a prequel or something. I hope not, just to make money. The just first one porn. was great. The second one was good. Yeah. Everything after that was just redundant. What was the one on the uh, the race car track? Was that like number four? I, I can't I even remember. There was one on the bridge also. It's just, it really is just repetitive. Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, it's fun to say oh yeah that was a really creative way that they killed that person but you know it just becomes kind of gratuitous at some point it's like saw same thing yeah saw one was great yeah it was meh and then everything after that was murder porn yeah murder porn's not bad here's one of my problems um <clears throat> with everything in general um with everything in general yeah, yeah i mean like getting rid of big corporations um, gives people like us access to do stuff. Um, and I'm talking about like the movies or the music industry. It gives p- people access to it, more access. So that's great. Anybody can go make an album or a movie now. One of the problems is they're making shitty movies. There's no budget for these things. And they got out of control, right? But when will we ever see? I know they're making another Avatar. No, they're supposed Maybe. to be making. They're supposed to be making. Who fucking avatar. knows at this point? Right. For, for ten years later. But when, when will they ever have these huge budgets to go out and do stuff other than like Bezos? They have huge budgets. What are you talking about? Who with who, movies? Who has huge budgets? I mean, Marvel. Basically, every and single Disney. no. There's there's a movie few. studio <clears throat> out there. And there's only a few. So if you were if you're watching Netflix, I would say one out of every. 15 movies is a handheld movie where somebody's running around with a camera doing one of those fucking Blair Witch bullshit like things. I movies? Fuck, yeah, I fucking hate those. I mean, Blair Blair Witch was great. Yeah, but a movie doesn't need to have a huge budget to be good. No, no. Okay, so we... we clerks. Uh, I, I don't know if yeah, I'm explaining... No, I liked Clerks 2 better, yeah. honestly. Well, yeah, and, but clerks that can never be made great. again because there's no Kevin Smith at 20 years old. Well, and he he's amazing. he quit the industry. He doesn't make movies anymore. Yeah, but he's an old man now, so he's jaded and fucked up. Even if he was to try to make Clerks 3, like it wouldn't be as good as 1 or 2. Hmm. Maybe. Well, that's the thing is you don't have the budget. Everything else is you know, a lot more creativity and better writing we got to the pinnacle with music where they put music on these cds and it was digital so it became exactly what was recorded no fluff no fuck so it got to this pinnacle and there's we didn't improve it we made the file size smaller we reduced the quality and we made it cheap for everybody to have so now um when we go when we record he goes Jared, he, the recording engineer, he goes, yeah, I don't know why I do this. They just take it. They make an MP4 or three out of it and they reduce the quality and it's shit. I spend all my time trying to make this thing magical for you guys and sound great. And then it just turns into shit. So what I'm, what I'm saying is we reached a pinnacle, like in the movie industry. Yeah, but you can, you can listen to uncompressed music. Where do you find that? 
I'm pretty sure YouTube Music, which used to be Google Music, is all uncompressed. They still compress everything heavily on YouTube. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, there's an option in your phone is to, there? N or in the program itself. So is, that. is the music being uploaded? Is that uncompressed too? I would assume so. Because I mean, they want to upload it at the best quality possible. Because I can go out in the garage and, and play stuff on the CD player that will sound amazing. And then I can hook up my iPhone and play compressed music. And you can just slightly tell that shit isn't there. But I'm, what I'm saying is, we got to a pinnacle, and now we are we're de we're we're degressing, I don't know, backsliding. We're backsliding, and I don't know if it's that great. Like I'd like to have movies that are amazing. Do you do you guys remember when uh, oh the Bruce Willis movie came out and M Night Shyamalan? Uh, what the fuck was that? Where he's dead? Whoa! Spoilers. No, he's dead. It's a movie Six from like Six Sense. Six Sense. Years ago, I think it's fine. <laughs> if if someone hasn't do it seen yet. it, then that's their loss. It's on the top of my list. Right, right. It's, it's an amazing movie, but I don't think we'll ever see an amazing movie like that. Like, are they paying the people? I'm, I'm sure there's somebody out there that has amazing ideas like that. But is he going to have the money to make movies and stuff like that? I just, I don't know. It's it's good that we're opening up to everybody to go out and have the ability to do stuff, but um, so it's not so inclusive. But it's, it's not about movies anymore. It's about miniseries and TV shows. Fuck, I hate that's that. where everything's at. Yeah, the industry has changed a lot in that regard. Because I remember back when we were kids, you would never see a movie star in a fucking TV show. Marshall. Like, like there was just there was a line between. People who acted in movies and people who did TV. And if you were in TV, you could kind of upgrade and start working on movies if your career took off. But you almost never took a step back from movies to TV shows. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, right. you've, got, you've got actors, you know, stepping across. You've got actors doing a lot of each. Look at and even, even big actors doing commercials. I mean, look at Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. I mean, he's a huge actor, he's, and he's, he's been whore. acting for a long time. He's one of my favorite actors, but he is a whore. I, I don't know what that guy's <laughs> no, worth. Bruce Willis is a whore. How so? Have you seen any of the movies he's done in the last 10 years? Most of them are direct-to-DVD releases. Yeah. It's, it's probably... It's, he's just, really put, thrown in the bag. Okay. And, okay. and he looks and acts exactly the same in all of them. It's because he's just a shitty actor. He's literally just doing this for a paycheck. <laughs> I mean, it, there's no deviation okay. between the normal... Bruce Willis personality and acting style between any of these shit can movies that have been coming out and it's ridiculous okay so the reason I say Samuel L. Jackson is a whore and Bruce Willis isn't is because Bruce Willis doesn't have options <laughs> no not no. anymore so he's he's stuck in this <laughs> Sam kind of like, like Nicolas Cage uh, well he's he's doing everything to pay off his his tax debt his burden right <laughs> yeah. Samuel L. Jackson can do everything and he does do everything. He's Capital One. He does all of this bullshit because he's a whore. He is trying to make as much money as he can or be out there. I don't I have no idea. When do you stop? When do you go and enjoy stuff? If you en if that's what you enjoy, then cool, whatever. But he is he is the biggest whore ever. He's one of my I'm, favorite I'm actors. Okay with that. Usually you usually just see that, okay with when, that you know their careers is declining to a point where they can't get into big movies. But anymore. His isn't his like his Ryan Reynolds isn't. in those mint mobile commercials. I know he has a stake in it, but. You see that ad all the time now. Yeah, at least I do. But I don't. I don't see Ryan Ryan Reynolds as declining. Did no, he's at like the peak of his no. career. He yeah. really is. Well, um, and he's been. I I first saw him in what Van Wilder. Yes. What the I mean, that fuck was, was that? What are you shooting at ago. me, motherfucker? That was. But I mean, wild. I I don't think I liked Ryan Reynolds. Through like the mid part of his career. Yeah. Like when he was doing, you know, romantic comedies and kind of the lower brow comedy styles. Waiting. Yeah, you know, <laughs> stuff like that I didn't really care for. But there are there are certain roles that Ryan Reynolds feels like he was meant yep. to play. Oh, for sure. He really found his actual, you know, he found right where he needed to be in Deadpool. Oh, for sure. yeah. But, and he'd also been pushing to play the real version of Deadpool, not the... X-Men Origins Wolverine catastrophe that happened. I mean, yeah. he, that's a role he he 
wanted and he knew he could do and he 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 did it perfectly. I mean, oh, for sure. there's no one that could. If You know, it's like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you, you could see a bunch of other actors doing that role. But Hugh Jackman, despite his height, which admittedly is a problem because Wolverine was a lot shorter than Hugh Jackman is. Yeah. Besides that, he encompasses the character in its entirety. <laughs> I don't know how tall uh, Wolverine's supposed to be. Five well, seven, it's really it's yeah, it's not tall. You're fucking kidding me. Five seven. Tom Cruise can play him. Tom Cruise cannot play him. Just fine. I think Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise is like five not six. Play anything. I love Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. What are you fantastic. talking about? Tom yeah, go bonkers. But no, he's a miserable actor. The things that you know, the he's stunts he, you know that he no, does by himself, not. and I love. Tom Cruise in most of the things that he does. For sure. So do I. There's been some shining Amazing. moments, I'll admit. But shining moments. Over, he's, overall, he's I don't... top five actors of all time. No. For sure. No. He, no. What? Absolutely. He's the money that he's brought Who's in. Who's your favorite movies. actor of all time? That is a good question. Oh, fuck. I'd have to give me a minute to think about No, it. you can't. You should know. Who's your favorite actor? Morgan of Freeman. It changes all the time. Morgan, Morgan Freeman's my favorite, too. Morgan Freeman is one of the actors, when he finally passes, I might actually shed real tears for I, him. Because I, will, I will not. I love, like, just his voice. Yeah. The variety of roles he can play. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he feels like he always gives 100% when he's in a role. He he just fits everything fine. So I, we gave you a second. So what's your favorite actor? No, I I couldn't tell you. I I need a couple minutes because I just it, it depends on what big movies are coming out and like it changes over time. So he used Robert to be... Downey Jr. is high up there for me too. Not so much for me. Po- post you know cocaine post addiction. Cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know po- post Ally McBeal. And he was his amazing. World falling apart and all that stuff. I know, but he was you know, a, his he comeback was. Hmm. I mean, nobody saw that coming. I don't think. Yeah. You know, when he first stepped into the role of Iron Man, I don't think anybody would have ever thought that that role would have propelled his career to the heights that it ended up coming to. He was an amazing actor beforehand. An amazing actor. So number two on my list. So you that's your number two. I'd say so. Yeah, probably. Number two on my list would be Johnny Depp. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Depp. I mean, be that as it may, he can transform himself into fucking you know, anything. He, he can play those weird, Smarmy. kooky kind of no, crazy roles. But I don't. I don't think you've seen. I think, I think anybody can just play a a weird character. I I don't think you've seen enough Johnny Depp. Have you seen the one on the train? No. Yeah. Um, Mystery on Orient Express. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, is it Agatha Christie? Baseball book, yeah. book. And then you go to that, and you go to the pirate. Who's gonna play that better? Okay, like, I, I will admit he encompasses he's Captain amazing. Jack Sparrow perfectly. Yeah, I, I'll give you that to well, that, Johnny Depp. Well, that's that's what's amazing when you said uh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. I don't see anybody else playing Wolverine yeah. and Hugh Jackman. I don't see anybody else playing Iron Man or Deadpool or Deadpool. Yeah. These these are perfect fits. Yeah, yeah the and John, is, Johnny yeah, Depp is perfect for, as Captain Jack Sparrow. And for other things, I mean, um, Willy Wonka. Yeah, like that I, weird. Like I said, but, that's just one of those roles where I don't really like the character to begin with. Mm-hmm. So Johnny Depp playing him doesn't change that for me. Yeah, it's it's funny going from um, the original version to... I like the original version better. Right. Well, you can. Um, but then again, I saw it when I was a kid. So did I. I mean, so it's one of those movies that I don't think any amount of remakes will touch the memory of that first... When you were a child. Yeah. Yeah, but he came in and I think he did a better job than, than Wilder. Um, he, he, anyways, he's number two on my list. Um, easily, uh, the way he can transform himself, he's amazing to me. And he's a pretty motherfucker too, which is crazy. Look, look at um, you, you gave me the the frowny, and you gave me like, what the fuck are you talking about? Look at um, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is the same motherfucker, and and he's not a good actor. He's horrible. He's just a pretty face. I really like Brad Pitt. Yeah, you really like Brad Pitt. I do, yeah, for sure. Joe Black is a great movie, right? I've never seen it. What? Dude, that's his best movie by far. Okay. Meet Joe Black. You've never seen it? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a great movie. 
because it fits his personality that fucking perfectly. He displays himself, and it's it's awesome. But you look at him, and he's he's pretty, like super pretty, and he can't fucking act. You look at Johnny Depp on the same level, and he can act. He's really good. What about people like uh, Adam Driver? He's Who, he's top five for sure. Who's Adam Driver? You'd have to see one. Have you seen Have the you seen door? any of the new Star Wars movies? Yeah. Okay. Kylo so Ren. He's Kylo Ren. Oh, no, he does nothing for me. Yeah, and that's kind of how I feel too. Like a lot of his recent stuff. He can he's a great actor. What was Even it? Because he was in much. a No, that was a different actor. You like him? Yeah. Why? I, yeah, I don't I don't much care for him. I I remember watching a movie with him recently and it's that like super like melodramatic it's like zombie movie what is it called uh the dead don't die right and it was it you know it had uh bill murray in it and a couple of other big actors but it was just this like overacted kind of emotionally stunted it was just this weird Mm -hmm. kind of drama about a zombie apocalypse where you know the characters are just like in denial that's your number one no i'd say top five you haven't sure. figured out your top one yet no I, it, it would here. have to be someone that is a great actor like have you seen the punisher series yeah john bernthal in that series is fantastic mm. a great actor Maybe but does he compare with he do you know who that is i i've seen the punisher so if he's the main punisher guy i know who he this is. tv series though Right. Yeah, yeah, it's on Netflix. Okay, I've watched yeah. a couple episodes. Well, because there's like four movies. And then there's the original Punisher movie with Thomas Jane. I think Thomas Jane was a great Punisher. Yeah. Okay. But I will give you that as far as a remake goes, he he does pretty much kill it. He Even... was in The Mist, right? Thomas Jane? Yes. Okay, that was a terrific movie. He's in a lot of like Stephen that King movies. That was okay. Though. <laughs> I thought the ending of that movie the the the, the 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 one that just recently came out like five years ago so oh, like no, it was longer than that 2006 okay there was wow. a tv series that got no. one season of the mist no, I, I watched the mist when it came out on netflix they're in a grocery store yeah yeah mm-hmm. like that movie was great for me un- until like that religious lady like that I think that took up way too much time from the show. I think it I think you could have done so many more interesting things than have the conflict between them devolve into some religious kook, you know, turning half the store and then everybody getting all fucked up. And then in the end, the religious kook and all those people who, you know, were going crazy worshiping her ended up making it out. Well, you guys are just like I mean, I understand the ending was supposed to be fucking traumatic. I Not mean, I, book, I understand that's what they were going for, but I think they could have just done so much more with that movie that they didn't take advantage of. It's interesting. While you guys are sitting here, I've been going through my mind thinking, like, what's my top five? And I, I have my top five. Do you have your top five? More or less. Really? So number three, I know this is going to sound stupid and gay, but I have to watch so many of these fucking movies because of my wife that she's amazing. And it, number three, Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Just fucking amazing. I, as a female actor, I, she's probably my favorite female actor. Uh, number four, Denzel Washington. And then number five, I love Am- Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. So I'm going to say he's my number five. So I got my top five. It's a solid. Uh, Cruz did not make my top five. but That's too bad. It, it really is because I enjoy a lot of his movies it's hard to watch a movie where he's just not fantastic in it yeah it's kind of, taylor might be right in in the fact that he's kind of one of those guys that's always the same too i don't know like tropic thunder that's my favorite movie oh ever. tropic <laughs> of his you play something a little bit different in that movie for sure that was amazing oh and you know what rain man yeah i remember when he got pissed off in the airport did you see everybody yeah. saw rain man for sure. he gets pissed off in the airport because his brother won't go on the plane and he's just he looks like he's genuine, genuinely pissed. Grabs the fucking thing that he's holding and just fucking yanks it. He's so pissed off. That's a great movie of his. Movie's killer. Yeah. So I got my top five. Who do you got? Top five? Sure. Let's hear it. Well, I already told you the first two, yeah, right? Mor- Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Number two was what? What was number two? Oh my god. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I like I like Kate Beckinsale. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who that is. She's in what? Underworld? Yeah. Okay. Joel? Joel. Yeah. It's a newer movie on, I think, Amazon. Oh, I've not watched it's, it. It's entertaining. I mean, she's in movies that entertain me. Right. Was she in Underworld? Yeah, she was the main okay, character. She was, she was Celine. Um, she really has been typecast into those types of movies, though. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, but I think, I think she pulls it movies. off. Yeah, she's a good action, great action star. So hold yeah. on. We, you're number one. Oh, number two, Samuel L. Jackson. I didn't put him in my top five. He should have been in my top five. Motherfucker. I'm going to bump out. I'm going to bump just gonna out. start bumping people out. Anthony Hopkins goes out. Yeah. I mean, God, Pulp Fiction is fucking amazing with him in there. I love him. Yeah. So good. But Travolta was amazing in that fucking movie, too. So was Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis was good in that movie. He was actually good in that movie. I like Bruce Willis back in uh back like you said before ten years ago before he was just going through the motions and like the diehard movies and right red. Well, now he's just a whore trying to make money, but he's just making shitty movies. I like him in Friends. That was my favorite role of his. You know who else came back into the movie uh, movies? was Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm. and I thought he was going to be whoring out, and we watched one of his movies, and it was actually fucking good. No, what was it? I don't remember. It was about his daughter getting, you know, he's got to be a hero, so his daughter getting ripped off to Mexico or something like that. Maybe that was yeah. Stallone. What about, like, him. Liam Neeson? You big Liam Neeson. He can act, for yeah. sure. Not yeah. really in the newer Taken movies, but... Uh, he's... He... Come on, he's just phoning it in with those movies. <laughs> the first one was spectacular. Yeah period end of story there should have never been however many more which one was a TV that series taken oh was yeah, there a TV yeah series for taken? yes there was by the way let's yeah. bring a tv series because uh, this is a new thing with this generation because you don't have to wait around for the next episode so you can binge watch shit right so <clears throat> with with series i'm not like a huge fan because i just don't want to waste that much time my daughters told me that breaking bad was good Oh, I love that that show. That show is fantastic. Top three for sure for for you. Absolutely, yep. I never finished that. It. Sopranos and Sopranos is fantastic. So I tried watching a couple episodes. I said fuck it, didn't watch it. And then one night it was like uh, I had to get up at six o'clock in the morning to go to work. I put it on just to give it another shot. Next thing I know, I'm like five episodes in, and I watch. You know, in the next couple weeks, I binge watch the fucking thing. So, anyways, <clears throat> I've seen. Uh, Better Call Saul on Netflix. It pops up every once in a while. And Saul was one of my favorite characters on Bob it. Bob Odenkirk, yeah, he's a great actor too. I like him. You like him. I think yeah. he's a shitty actor. Especially... I could never get into Breaking Bad. You could never get into Breaking Bad? No. Okay. So um, Netflix has Better Call Saul, so I just got done watching the four seasons of that. And apparently they're on season six. And it's made through somebody else, not Netflix. So now I have to go in and AMC find it. AMC, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now I have to go uh, pirate this motherfucker. Unless it's on like Prime or something like that. I I think he's, he's definitely a comedy actor because he's he's been a lot of funny things. He's was he a comedy writer for SNL. And so, I mean, really, he was in that drama series and played the relief character. But right. in Better Call Saul, he's in a more serious acting role. Who is, who? do you know the name of the... the um, the police officer on there in what better call Saul? yeah oh uh mike no not mike his, his, okay. his name in the series is mike <clears throat> but he does an amazing job for what he does too because yeah. he's like super serious always says the right stuff they've they've got these people in niches that just fit but it, sure. it, it's kind of he's kind of uh the main actor he's kind of wearing thin uh, it's not as good as i thought it would be when i got later into the series mm -hmm. it was good in the beginning but after that, it kind of, it's wearing thin, season four. Whoever that chick on there is, holy shit. It doesn't, he doesn't match up. Like, if you're fucking somebody in a movie, you need to be on their level, right? Unless and, you're going for that kind of shock value. She's got weird features, and she, but, like, she does. She's got weird features, so she's, like, not, like, overly super hot. But, like, eh, probably shouldn't be fucking this guy. But she is. And and the only thing they have co in common is smoking. That's it. That's basically it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I like Josh I Brolin. Right. He's too. not very attractive. Josh Brolin. Yeah, absolutely. Not not very prolific. No, absolutely no. not. But come on, look how far he goes back. He goes back as far as one of my first like cherished movies. Okay. Do you think of what it is? You better. No. You should know. Well, what's your first? Do you know? I'm trying to think of a oh, movie. Come with on, Josh everybody Brolin. knows what this <laughs> fucking of... movie is. He was in Deadpool me? too, right? Yeah, he was in Deadpool. <laughs> That's the only movie I can think of. Played, the... He played Thanos as well. That was Josh Brolin. Yeah. Goonies, you motherfuckers! Who was he in Goonies? One of the bad guys. No. What is Goonies about? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <clears throat> was he the? Was he the? Was he the deformed guy? I think hey, you're stoned. You guys. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he was a bad guy though. It was funny because Goonies. Watching that as a kid, it was one of my favorite movies. And then I tried to show my children that, and they just went like, this movie fucking sucks. <laughs> they did. It's because it was, like, it was one of those movies that... It's in time. Yeah. It's in time. Yeah. He it's played a uh, Brand. Oh, yeah, Brand. In the Goonies. Yeah, I, remember, <laughs> I don't exactly I remember it. who Brand is. Which one of the two guys was that? Because there was I two bad... do you want me to just show you his fucking picture? Yeah, back then. So, oh, I, I don't know if I can find a picture of him back then. Well, I know who Josh Brolin is, but I've got it. Uh, you got the mom, and you got the two brothers that were the bad guys. Number one actor who was let never going to sell I, out. Let me see if I can find a picture. Oh my of, god, that was what from the movie. Never in what? And never sell out. He'll never sell. He's he's always going to be top tier, a list actor for the rest of his life. Oh wait a second, he wasn't one of the bad guys. No, he was one of the fucking kids. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did, I didn't realize that. Oh, you're a fucking crackhead. Don't come to me yeah, with that shit not. again. Jesus Christ. I guess it's just been that fucking long <laughs> since I've seen the Goonies then. So he is not that much older than me. I wonder how old he is. He was born in... He's an old motherfucking looking guy, though. Huh? He, he looks old now. Oh, I mean, he's, a lot of crack he's cocaine. showing his age, but he's only 53. Wow. I mean, this is what he looks like now. Yeah. But then uh, I think to round out my top five, I would say that Mary Kate Winslet or Winstead or whatever her name is and uh, Ryan Reynolds are probably tied for five. Uh, Ryan Reynolds just hasn't done enough for me. It'd yeah, be like me putting rock in my top but five. what he's done leaves an impression. And it's not just the movies that he's that makes him one of my favorite actors it's it's his personality it's right he does the same he, it's who he does is. the same thing in every movie damn near uh, i don't know about mm -hmm. that but he he's got comedy down to a t i can say that will ferrell's probably has a bigger acting range than him will ferrell is the worst comedian i've ever fucking had to <laughs> sit through in my goddamn life love him like watching a will ferrell movie mm -hmm. I would rather put a screwdriver in my ear. I love him. No, he's he's Where do you not fall funny. On this? He's just he's fucking irritating. You still haven't watched Will... you still haven't watched campaign yet, have you? No, and I have no intention to Yeah, he's got a big big range, big acting range. He's not stuck in anything, so he can actually change. And none of it is good. To you. His bank account would say different. Well, yeah, I but prefer. basically anybody who's an actor and can say that that's career. Probably has a stacked bank account. Nicholas Cage. I mean, <laughs> certainly more than what our bank accounts have in it. That's for fucking sure. Well, obviously. Well, then, come on. Just by a bit. I don't know. I wonder what Nicholas Cage has now. Oh, I'm sure he's still fucking loaded. No, well, he went through the whole tax thing. Yeah, and he's I been know. fucking whoring out for everything. But some of the movies that he's made that, like, nobody really knows about broadly some of those movies are pretty fucking good like there's i can't remember what it's called but i watched it somewhat recently it's it's a movie where he he has no dialogue he doesn't mm -hmm. say a fucking word the entire movie and he's it's not like his part's small right he's basically the main character it's where some kids go to like a haunted it was like, called like pig or something animatronic like like Fuck. Part, I know what you're talking but, about. Yeah, and the, they're possessed by ghosts, and they fucking are like slaughtering these goddamn kids that wandered in there. Right. And he got a job to like clean it up, 
So and he, he's a total badass in the movie. He doesn't, he doesn't say anything. He just fucks stuff up. No. And sometimes that works for Nicolas Cage. So you are talking about somebody who belongs in a movie that you can't see him in anything else is National Treasure. National Treasure is probably like one of my favorite movies of all time. Whenever I see it on Netflix, it goes on before I go to bed. And it puts me to bed every single time. I, just, I, I love that movie. Good movie. Very good movie. It's amazing. Because they Con Air, like Con Air with him too. I always just kind of thought it was okay. <laughs> I, no, I, I, it was nothing against the movie itself. Right. But it, it was one of those movies that just didn't really blow my mind. Oh, I loved it. I like, loved it. I would put national treasure on par with like the first two tomb raider movies with angelina jolie it's like yeah it's it's entertaining it's a fun ride it's a pop I'm, I'm not gonna put it in my top five yeah i mean why didn't they have like for for uh instead of An angelina on that what they needed was some steroided out just huge chick you know that could go around and do that Over. shit because she just for me in tomb raider they made it off the video game right and some skinny bitch ain't gonna be able to kick everybody's ass and well, that, have you seen the new tomb raider movies looks just like her i yeah, was gonna looks say small, it looks smaller it looks just like yeah. lara croft i want some like chick on every there that fucking detail but the new tomb raider movies are kind of dumb too because the old ones she was a badass mm. from the start of the first movie she was a badass. Mm -hmm. And in the new Tomb Raider movies, it's like she gets fucked up all the time. Yeah. She, you know, she can't do half the shit that, you know, she's always been able to do from the first time you saw her in a mm -hmm. game, the first time you saw her in the original movies. It's just, it's, I don't think the origin story aspect worked out for the new Tomb Raider movie. I just, I don't feel it. Like, I felt Angelina Jolie just being a pure badass That's fair. in the first movies. If I can kick her ass, she's not a badass. There's no way you could even... I'd slap the fuck out of her real quick. It'd be over quickly. She would take out those we dual, need... double weagles in, in her... No, she wouldn't. I'd slap her before she had a chance. She's just fucking... She's anorexic, and she's small, and there's... I want some chick that's all fucking buffed up. Somebody that can actually do shit, not CGI and all that bullshit. Whatever, I'm sure some of it wasn't, but give me something real with that. They could have done it, but they wanted a pretty face and somebody that was known. Fuck that. Sometimes it's okay to have actors that aren't known in your movie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're not just, I, that's the problem with studios. They were trying to make bucks back then, trying to cover well, that how cost. known was Chris Hemsworth or... I mean, you look before at... he started doing steroids and became. Oh come on! Oh, oh there's oh. before and afters of him, yeah, like within a year. You and could he's say the same thing for anybody in That's any of those Marvel movies. Yeah, oh, you yeah. could say that for Chris Pratt. You could say that for Chris. Well, basically any, any of the Chris's, of the Chris's in yeah. the Marvel universe. There is a point that you can get genetically to be in massively good shape, and then there's a point where you're fucking getting twenty inch guns, twenty one. It just there's. Zach comes up to me and he shows me this TikTok and it's this guy if you want to have biceps like this this is what you have to do and then this other guy pops on there steroids you did steroids steroids and it's just true you can only genetically go so far those people that are massive in size they're genetic just unicorns it just they just they're it just, just doesn't just, happen they're just look at that's just how they are well, look at the UFC. The UFC is a good example of this. I know you don't watch uh, UFC. No. But before they brought in USADA to test all of these athletes, everybody was fucking jacked. Now there's only a couple people in, in there because they're getting tested on a regular basis that have normal or have testosterone levels to support being jacked. There's only a couple. And so it's those are the unicorns. Genetic lottery, right? Yeah. Hey, fighting styles change. They have to meet a certain weight class, and you don't want to be super bulky. Everybody knows they were doing steroids before they bought. Everybody was jacked, bodybuilder jacked, shredded. Now you have <laughs> fat guys fighting in there. You also think you could take Conor McGregor? I don't know if we can take your I opinion would, on many things. I would fight Conor McGregor right now. <laughs> you put 165 pounds against 220, and I'm going to fucking beat his ass all day all day long 
I think we Easy. should we should crowdfund a uh, yeah a UFC fight between you and Connor. I would rather fight him than somebody like Uriah Faber, who's smaller than him, because Uriah can wrestle, and yeah. with my skills on the ground against him, he's gonna um he's gonna since he's done it for so long, his skills are gonna outmatch mine probably. But Conor McGregor, he can't fight on the ground. I'd fuck him up. I'd put him on his back and beat the snot out of him. See if you can get 220 pounds off of him. Good luck. No, I it's have just nothing true. to add to this conversation. Size, okay, I do. Size matters. As much as we want to be PC and say size doesn't matter, size does matter. I would in our say society. mass matters what? more than size. Mass. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, even if you're small, if you're massive. No. Um, I mean, if you've got, even if you're tiny, if your body is more massive, if yeah. you've got more density to you, that can be just as good as being a big fucking guy. No. So one of the, one of the problems is, um, okay, so uh, not a collegiate uh, wrestler, but he was uh, Allstate, was our old band manager. And before he became our band manager, we had wrestled once. And my length was too much for him to handle. He's a, he's like five, six stocky and fucking strong, super strong. When I, I could feel if you feel somebody on you, you can tell if they're strong or not. Right. Every night with Amanda, she's oh. stronger than you. Yeah. That's what I meant as Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, but it, my length was too much for him. Uh, even though we were equally in strength and you know, he was dense, short, and built um it was just too much for him yeah. so size matters it, um if you're trying to pound your old lady with a four inch dick versus a six inch dick she's going to enjoy the six inch dick size just matters it is what it is get over it you are what you are if your tits are small your tits are small quit trying to fucking you know you know what i'm saying it just is what it is suckling on a pancake knit on tit for a baby, it's not going to be as good as somebody who's voluptuous with the milk flowing. It just is what it is, right? I'm, I'm sick of people fucking, it, you are what you are. That's a great lesson to be learned. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> just get over like it. That, Quit worrying about what the fuck you are. If you're heavy, you're heavy. If you're skinny, you're skinny. Quit. Skinny guy wants to eat and get big. Zach's 240 pounds, but he wants to, he thinks he's small and wants to work out all the time. You're 240 fucking pounds of just shredded fucking whatever. Just get over it. People never are happy with what they are. Are you happy with what you are, Taylor? Yeah, for the most part. Are you happy with what you are? I wish I had voluptuous titties, but other than that. Right. Absolutely. I so wish you, I could. So you don't me. want to be in better shape? <clears throat> no. You're happy with you. Good well, for you. Yeah, no, I mean, other than, yeah, for sure. No, other than what? No, you can't, we can't fucking be dishonest in this little conversation that we're other having. Other than big mommy milkers, some large badonkadonks. <laughs> right? Badonkadonk is your ass. Want. So you want, you want the... Kim chest chest badonkadonks. And you're super happy with where, you, where you're at. I don't know if I'd say super happy, mm -hmm. but I'm comfortable with it. How about when you... I don't feel the need to change myself. I don't... I don't think the amount of energy I would expend to change myself would make me happier. Right. So I just, I'm, yeah, I'm fine the way I am. How about when you were growing up? Were you happy with yourself then? Oh, I was super skinny. Super I was, skinny. I was muscly through junior high and right. high school. Yeah. I mean, back then I was unhappy with myself, horribly unhappy with myself because enough was never enough. Right. I never thought I looked good enough. I never thought I looked toned enough. I never had that six pack abs that, you know, you could lift your shirt up and show people. Right. I was never happy with how I appeared when I was younger. Right. And how about when you were younger? I was, yeah, I was very short and very skinny very until short. like freshman year. Yeah. And then what, you got tall? I was under hundred pounds until like freshman year. Then I, I definitely did spring up. Right. I was like five, three. So we're all pretty comfortable in our skin now that we're older, but some people go through life not being happy with who they are and I just don't get people. it or want to change it. Yeah. So. <laughs> we have nothing else. I mean, that, that basically sums it up. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to talk about on that subject. Well, no, no, I know. It's just, it is what it is. Just get over it. 
Um, I have fucked up teeth. I'm well over that. My wife accepts me and her boyfriends. <laughs> right? <laughs> My husband's got fucked up teeth, so I'm going to bang you. Uh, all right, what else we got on the platter? What else we want to talk about? There's this thing on Reddit. Closer to your face, man. I was stretching. Can you hear him, Zach? Kind Put it in your fucking face. Put the dick microphone in your face. And talk to the tip. Talk to the tip. Um, This thing on Reddit, this subreddit called Anti-Work, and it was a big community of people that were, you know, I'm going to say mostly made up of millennials that are sick and tired of the current work, you know, society. 40 hour plus work weeks and overtime, mandatory, low pay, things like that. So this mm -hmm. whole subreddit was dedicated to uh, you know, working on abolishing that people that were quitting their jobs and, and rioting, I'd say, towards the current work ethic. Um, 1.7 plus million users were on the subreddit. For whatever reason, Fox News wanted to interview one of these moderators of the subreddit. Mm -hmm. For they, you know, so. People on subreddit were saying, hey, you shouldn't interview, you shouldn't go out and interview or get interviewed by Fox News because it's going to be a PR disaster. Okay. One of the moderators did. She did get interviewed by Fox News and it was a PR disaster. Why? It was the cringiest. Okay, so. What so you, you, what, you did watch it? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, the whole thing and, is, and why was it bad? Weird. Why? Huh? Why? The different, okay, so the Fox News interviewer was just asking certain things like, do you work? How many hours a week do you work? This, I, I believe she's transitioning. I think it, she, her pronouns, um, she's 30. She said that she works as a dog walker for 20 hours a week. She also brought up the fact <laughs> that laziness is a virtue. Uh, the Fox News interviewer just brought up very <laughs> right. normal questions and wasn't egging her on or asking anything weird of her, but the way that she was answering and she was just rocking back in her chair. This was on... She just uh, came off as entitled or... She was lazy super... Or what? Yeah, lazy. Very lazy, very unprofessional. That's, and, hold on, just real quick. That's It's kind of disappointing um, that that would be the representative. Why? It's some random asshole from a message board on the internet. No, I, I, I mean, what did the fuck did what they did expect? They, I mean, okay. anybody could have predicted that that was going to be a disaster. So, in the United they States, predict that. I mean, in the United States, we're still more productive than any other worker in the world. We're we're worked more and we're paid less than we should be. So there is valid points to be made right? That we should get paid more, that we should probably work less. Absolutely. Uh, in other countries, five weeks is the minimum for your vacation. That's the minimum time you, you, you're off work for your vacation time. Yep. That's not in the United States. So it's disappointing that you have somebody who can't articulate certain stuff on a news program that gets blown up. All right. So what else? What else was it? Anything else other than her getting fucked up by somebody well, who's... You're right. Is They should have, you know had someone set aside someone that was professional and, and could make these good points towards the Fox News interviewer and wasn't going to shut down the entire subreddit. The, the whole subreddit was shut down for like three days. It was quarantined. What? Yeah, that's as they were trying to... How the to, fuck does that happen? Because they probably had a bunch of people it's, from all over Reddit going there and... Absolutely. It was on, it on was, all sorts it was of other probably cringe. just chaos. Yeah, it was damage control. It's back up, and it's worse than it was so, before. Uh, so hold on. The moderators are the ones that brought it down, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because they looked bad, so they wanted damage control. I would say they probably just got a bunch of trolls and people just wanting to start shit probably flooded into the subreddit when it got advertised on national news. Right. And it probably just devolved into chaos and shit slinging. And I mean, that's basically what Reddit is in a nutshell anyways. Or it's what, is, so, what it's become, right? Well, I don't know because Reddit, aren't they going public? What? Soon? Really? I think yeah. so. Uh, I think they're going to become a public company and I just... I mean, they're just going to whore out to the man. Yeah, I mean, all it means is now they're going to have obligations to make certain amounts of money, and they're they're going to have to be rich. Well, right. they're going to have to probably restrict 
some of the content that's on there because there's a lot of shit on Reddit. A lot of porn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a ton. <laughs> so, I mean, who knows how long those kinds of things will last because what was it? OnlyFans' this whole thing was when they were going to go public, mm -hmm. they originally announced that the porn was going bye-bye so because what else would only fans be used for though exactly what, yeah exactly. exactly what it was set for was just like a singing app or something i yeah, don't know but <laughs> it, was, it, it, found, porn, yeah. it found a niche and that's what's taken over the platform and and can we say that porn isn't really a niche well i mean i know they found specific way it's distributed i would right. say it is right right where's john stewart He's coming out with his uh, his own show. Yeah, I think I thought he was. I thought that was supposed to start last year, but maybe pandemic. There was that, that trailer on that he was making fun of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk for their spaceships. Call him, you know, he had right. Jason Alexander on, and he was an astronaut for. So if, if somebody could ar articulate what probably that person was trying to articulate, it could be yes. John Stewart. He could be a person that could be out there doing that because he's very articulate. Absolutely. He can shut you down. Uh, he's he's his iq is on the same level as the person that's interviewing him we don't have some dipshit that can't that shouldn't be speaking for everybody yeah for I, sure. I don't and we're, when it's on fox news you're just going to argue about this right because they're going to have certain people i, I i'll just go back to the point that we're overworked we're underpaid and we don't get the fucking time off that normal countries have uh first world countries right so it'd be nice if we had somebody articulate that for us or your first world military with a uh, third world you know people <coughs> really you're right. is that what you're saying you are you're a third world person oh absolutely yeah your hair is in my own piss huh your hair is very nice and you're wearing nice clothing and you drive a car. Yeah, but you about... just bought a, a new computer for your girlfriend. You live in a nice house. Yeah, you don't have a dirt floor. I mean, I have come out pretty well off just because of the job that I found myself lucky enough to get into. But, but where, saying, where, where are you at on living in poverty? And no, no, I, I get what you're saying. There is that in the United States. But what's your education level for being doing doing so well? In high school. Yeah, shut the fuck up. What do you want? From yeah, me? No, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying. Compared the, the, to Umbabwa in Uganda, you're free, doing pretty fucking good. I know. It's like free college. It's, it's not free. free. It's not free here. Other places in the world look at education as something that that benefits the state, right? And it does. It does. The more, but if we dumb you down, us when we work at a pretty fucking dumb job, right? then they can control us easier and we're just robots in a factory doing fucking shit. Taylor, you're absolutely quiet on this subject. Well, I mean, look at how many European countries have higher taxes, but provide free healthcare, free college. I mean, you don't see the same sort of fucking issues that the United States has, but the United, <laughs> what people don't really realize <laughs> is that the United States is fucking huge. Like, even if you don't count Alaska, mm -hmm. the United States is a massive fucking country. I Chunk mean, it land. literally takes up, what, a third of the entire North American landmass? I mean, come on. The United States is big, and tons of people from other countries are the ones that founded it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... There's a lot of diversity in the United States that maybe some of the more traditional European countries don't have, which is why we're so fucked up. The United States is fucked up because we are diverse. And I know most people say diversity breeds success, and that's true in certain aspects of life. Build the wall. But when you've got the situation we've got with two political parties that believe in polar opposite things. So, dictatorship? Huh? Should we go to a dictatorship? Oh, no, I'm not saying that. And as far as I know, most of the Western European <laughs> countries are not dictatorships. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, they're not. How about a monarchy? We'll Socialist, put you in charge. Uh, I think that the, the most perfect system that could exist would be... Socialism. 
Huh? No, go ahead, sir. <laughs> oh. Democratic socialism, right? I would say a democratic monarchy. So you have it, but only if the king, the head of state, Elon Musk, has absolute has the absolute ability mm. and the drive to make things better for everyone, not just not just their supporters, right. everyone. And then below the king, head of state, whatever, then you've got a democratically elected, <laughs> you know, quorum or council or whatever you want to call it mm. that you know, the king is the head of state. He makes basically the big major rules. And then you've got the elected officials, which then... For who, though? Which then enforce How the does rules one and... person make all the rules for everybody? That makes no fucking I mean, sense. we could sit around and make all the rules we want for a perfect society. But it would only be perfect for us, not perfect for... No, but us. that's why you need somebody who is... The king. The king, who... Someone who literally has the best interests of the people. Oh, fuck. There isn't no one person out there No politician in this country that. had... Not a single one of them mm -hmm. has the best interest of all the people on their minds. So that's why we they make... Have the, they have the interest of their supporters, the people who will get them reelected... And I'm sure their party, but not a single politician in this country wants what's best for everyone. Everybody's got their own fucking agenda. <laughs> Everybody's looking at specific sections of society. They don't give a fuck about these people over here. You know, they don't give a fuck about this religion <laughs> because it conflicts the with their place. way of life. It's just... We it's hard to do because yeah. there's not enough empathy left in this country. I mean, I I think that's one of the major and you're just problems getting old. with Republicans and conservatives is they have a lack of empathy. You know, they want to protect oh. you when you're in the womb, but as soon as you pop out, they could give a fuck less what happens to you. The reason it, Taylor, the reason we can't get stuff through is because of the Democrats right now. So it's just it no. Is what I'm it's, not talking about modern day stuff. I'm talking about going back to the formation of this country. Yeah. So I I don't think we need to go back in time. I don't think everything that's written down can't be changed. It should be able to. And I really don't think that we need. I'm I'm like with Joe Rogan on this. I don't think we need to have some guy in charge doing everything right now the one guy we have in charge is brain dead he's fucking brain dead so why can't we go like my daughter says a dictator cpu and it makes the best decisions for us yeah i mean ai too bad ai doesn't exist in the proper format for that oh it does and you have to wonder at what point does the ai just say you know what this whole human experiment thing mm. it ain't fucking working out <laughs> no well it's, there's no way to make it perfect there's no way to make it prosperous yeah. eventually it will come to the conclusion that we are a detriment to this planet the only planet that we have the only yeah, place cool. we know that supports life so i don't think putting an ai in charge of something is the solution because eventually it doesn't matter if it takes a hundred years or a thousand years <laughs> the ai will all. come to the conclusion that we are no, not worth keeping around that's, as that's, a species i know that's the fear mongering that is uh america we're always worried what will happen no i'm not even talking about you know terminator and all you no, know I, I know and all this kinds of you know fanciful stuff i'm just talking about the basic logic behind our species not at any point in the history of our kind have we really made the world a better place. Just We've this... always progressively made it fucking worse. It's a lot more important. It's accessible. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that well, is but, fantastic. I mean, we we're a par we're a parasitic species. Mm -hmm. We consume, we breed, and we spread. Yeah, that is what we do. A we virus. don't actually do anything that benefits this planet. And I think an AI would eventually come to the conclusion okay, but that we're just it not necessary. Second, it would take I, a nanosecond. Once we're, it taps into 4chan, it's over for us. But <laughs> kill our Roombas and stuff. Why do we have... What, where is this thinking that we have to be beneficial to the planet? Uh, because if we're not, then the I, rest I, of the I, species I, that inhabit this planet with us will die. I, I and know, eventually Taylor, we will but... cause our own destruction. 
well, you're saying the AI will come to that conclusion and do it. All I'm saying is AI could run it better than what we do now. The problem is... It would have to enforce an absolute control structure, though. It would literally be a dictatorship with an AI yeah. at the head of it. They would have to slash the population, decide which... <laughs> Fuck. No, I'm in your, telling in your you, head. in order... If you're going to think about an AI, you have to understand that it's going to consider every single aspect of everything. If it turns out that genet our genetics are part of the problem and half of us are walking around with genetics that make our brains fucked up just a little bit, and that is a detriment on everything, eventually an AI is going to say, well, if we eliminate this part of the genetic humanity we can move past this and then you just end up with genocide and you end up with a system that wants to control absolutely every aspect of life even with, those we don't even like consciously think affect our society we're heading that direction anyways dystopia is coming we already no, live in it it's yeah not. so we have we have this thing called crispr where they can cut out and fix stuff in your genome as it is who's to say that somebody higher up the person the masters of men decide that they don't like something and they're going to take that out of the fucking gene pool yeah that's possible it's the same thing as the ai they would do tried that. there are definitely been people that tried that in the past and it didn't work out too well it's like what are we talking like hitler absolutely right i don't think a dystopia in the conventional sense of the way we think of it, is it possible? Because I think before we got to... We already live in it. You can say that, but we really don't. We just don't. But by the time you'd get to the point where, like in the movies and the books we read, that kind of dystopia, we would have destroyed ourselves already. There's no <clears throat> point... There's, there's no way we can get to the stereotypical dystopia because we, for resources. we would have killed ourselves off by then it's just it the road to a dystopia so, is too inherently destructive to make it all the way there my arm's in the fucking picture so hold oh, you brought up something so resources what are you talking about with dystopia resources well i figure if we uh you know, burn through our resources then we're going to be fighting for other nations it, resources aren't we already doing that well what resources Absolutely. but it's going to get you know get to the point where you know if we don't have viable soil for growing crops and our food resources are uh... this is where everybody gets lost and confused like you could take every i i heard this somewhere and i don't know where i heard it could have been my aunt uh, you can take every person on earth and give them an acre in australia so there's plenty of room for all the people. We can feed all the people on the earth. We can do everything. Is it every... just desert? Yeah, that's not, that's beyond the point. I'm just saying there's land for everybody. There's plenty of room on this earth oh, yeah. for fucking everybody. For all the people we can we feed everybody. Have. We just can't get, you know, we, <clears throat> and if we need to make money off it, somebody needs to profit from it. So somebody yeah. can elevate themselves. It's interesting. We, we like resources are becoming slim so we go over to iraq we have supply chain issues though that's the biggest thing is we you know this, we create enough food for anyone on the planet but this but is, we this didn't is, we didn't have what we're living in now is just a blip that's no. honestly what it is the whole supply chain issue thing that's that's a, not going to be something that continues in, into okay, the future uh, for it's, decades it's in our lifespan it's not a blip so you think this has been going on for three years now this is not a blip. We probably won't come out as a blip. So five years, let's say it, this whole thing lasts five years, right? It's fucking five years of wasted time that nothing happened. So yeah, well, but did we, look, looking back on human history, I know, how but long did I'm, the dark ages last? I'm talking about Almost human history. hundred years. You can't just say that, oh, this five years, nothing's happening because there have been substantially longer periods in there human has history been. where nothing has fucking happened and we've regressed as a species. Yeah, and... When I'm looking not at a whole sector of time, I'm looking at the span that I live within or my kids live within. I don't really give a fuck about what happened in the past. This is not a blip. This is five to ten years. The significant events that brought you to that no. point. I'm, I you're, love you're history. Just destined to repeat the same thing no, over that. and over again. It's be, we do anyways because we don't have a choice. We, we don't do have, a choice. have a choice. What's your choice, Taylor? In, in regard to what subject? What, how do, how are you going to change uh, prices of food? I'm not going to do shit. Exactly. Because I can't do shit. Exactly. 
I mean, the only way to adjust, get prices down in our current state is to off a bunch of people. If the if there's less population, there's less demand, more supply. Well, prices that's, go down. That's what they're going to do. They're going to raise interest rates. They're going to make people poorer because the dollar is going to get fucked. And that's one of the problems. There was too much demand, right, for the supply chain. They couldn't bring in enough goods, and the goods that came in got stuck offshore. So then the prices went up because the demand yeah. outstrips supply. So what they're going to do is they're going to raise interest rates, make people poorer than they already fucking are. Right, because they don't have this free money coming at them, and prices will stabilize. They're not going to go fucking down, but they'll stabilize. I'm just, it just for me and my family in this little period of time. This is more than a blip. This is years that have been taken away from my children going out and doing stuff and enjoying themselves, having a normal time. In my twenties, like my daughters are in their twenties. I was, me and my wife were out having fun when my sons are teenagers they were around friends or i was around friends i was partying and stuff they don't do that things have changed this is more than a blip this is a time period in somebody's life i don't know it just means more to me than than putting it in historical pre um a, 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 a historical context right so you're 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 taking 300 years of the dark ages versus five years it's important to me does that make yeah. sense but it's only important to you because you're conscious yeah to remember it to experience it mm -hmm. that doesn't make what happened for that period of time you know no but i'm not going to go any less valid no but i'm not going back in time i'm my point of reference is now yeah i don't give a fuck what happened in the past learn from it use it but it happened in the past now is what we important. don't learn from it we because we, we're not the masters of men we're not in power the same but people that, that's that's what i'm saying yeah. is that our country maybe not so much the world as a whole if you fuck with it you're going to be going but our country <laughs> is drastically undereducated as far as history and civics and things like this well that's concern and that's because one of the political parties doesn't want everybody to be informed because once once you start you know looking at values and looking at votes and you start nitpicking everything you'll realize that the party that you've blindly supported and this goes for both sides mm -hmm. it doesn't have your best interest no, at heart no you know they like to say things they like to do things that you know give you that momentary rush of adrenaline and all that stuff when you see it on the news but they're not doing that to change anything. They're just doing that to keep you drawn in. So Joe Biden goes out today to talk about his infrastructure bill in Pittsburgh, I believe it was. Well, what he should be fucking talking about is his Supreme Court picks. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Left-leaning judge is so, retiring. So he goes out to, uh, like, I, I believe this is, he goes out to a bridge. The bridge fucking collapse, collapses. <laughs> He goes out to talk about his infrastructure bill in, in Pittsburgh and the bill or the bridge collapses. This is fantastic. It's all about self-interest. These cocksuckers that get back there. That's why we need to eliminate them. But who's going to write the program for the AI to be altruistic, right? To have the people's best interest in mm -hmm. mind. There, and there needs well, to be a balance. But if you're, if you're governing the way an AI solves problems then you're constricting it to a point where it's not actually thinking for itself. It's still just thinking the way you're telling it to. A yeah, true that's AI the problem. would just look at things, absorb information, and come to its own conclusions, not based on some set of parameters you said need to be fulfilled. It's, it's always going to be a set of parameters, just like you're programmed, Andrew's programmed, and I'm programmed. We all are on because of our experiences right and that's what you're talking about when it sees what what's happening <laughs> what we in society do to each other what we do world? to each other then it's going to make decisions so but we're all programmed we we that's why we have we're all fucking flawed right we're definitely fraud, flawed well obviously i don't care what happens in the supreme court i don't well, you, you will. I won't. Yeah. What if your wife gets pregnant again, Roe versus? Why? Why is that uh, such a? Why is that such a sticking point? I'm sick of Roe versus Wade. 
Guns? It, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's, let's get right down to it. I mean, I know some people are going to watch this video and go, oh my god, he said Roe versus Wade doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter unless you live in one of the states that's going to restrict your rights. End of story. Yeah. We live in Washington State. If the Supreme Court strikes it down, then it goes on a state-to-state -state basis. The good states that, you know, support rights and don't want their population to explode out of control will still allow abortions. And if you are in a state that wants to tell you what your reproductive rights are, fucking leave. Right. It's as simple as that. So this, this uh... I don't know, Rovers, where he gets overturned in all these, you know, states, Alabama, Mississippi... Their populations explode and they're going to run out of places to go and they're going to come over here. They're going to start voting in these blue states. They're going to start turning red. I can see it now. Yeah, I mean, Blindly honestly, their... I could see the, our country going in the way of idiocracy in a it, heartbeat. With, it, with it, it was. Six years of politics. It I was mean, idiocracy. That's who we had in the White House for the last no, four fucking no, years. Don't say that. It's pretty close. President Camacho. Oh, what? God, no, yeah. you're, not, you're not thinking um, about... What he did what in did he the do? movie, mm -hmm. he sought out information. He he found somebody who was more knowledgeable than he was, who was attempting to solve okay. problems. He actually was working in earnest to change things for the better. He may have been a moron, well, the whole and he may have been dense, <laughs> but I at no point during Trump's presidency did I think he was trying to seek out correct information and change things for the better. Right. So you can't compare the two of them. There's just... It, uh, it's I, asinine I, to No, do intelligence level, I, I definitely can with the IQ. The whole society was dumbed down like ours. It's It fits. Um, yeah, the Supreme Court is supposed to be unbiased. You bring nothing in there, you, but it, they do. Now we have conservatives and liberals in there. And everybody's had their own flavor before, but they used to work for what was best, or at least you thought until Scalia. Scalia was a real cunt. Um, and he goes down in history as being one of the, uh, it's like Reagan. Reagan was a piece of shit too. He brought in corporate America. He was the first corporate president, right? So you're not going to change it. Big business is running it. I don't give a fuck about it anymore. I don't give a fuck about the Supreme Court. I, I think the Supreme Court is becoming increasingly irrelevant. It really is. I mean, what do they do? They basically figure out you know, where the country should fall on federal lines. But states have a lot more rights than you, you what gotta, most people think. They're only hearing a certain amount of cases every year. So well, they the, get to pick and choose. What and they, they get to pick and choose. So it's very limited that their, their reach is. They can go fuck off. Well, well, as soon as they said we can pour unlimited amounts of money into politics, mm -hmm. that's when they became irrelevant for me because... I think our election system should all be AI. I don't know what the correct way to do say this is, but publicly funded where you can only get donations in small quantities from regular people. Why does there have to be donations? Well, Why can't we just give them a set the, amount of money? That you could do that too. Yeah, and then you go. But you where does that money come from? If, are, the, are the people Taylor? Getting stop! Taxed? Stop! No, you have to account for that kind I of do. stuff because I, it affects I the do. people. So. We'll go back in time to what you said earlier. These other countries get taxed more than us. Well, that's not a reality. Me and Chris, we get we get taxed uh, thirty eight percent on everything that we make. Yes, and I understand you're getting taxed for the gas you I know. buy, the food you yep, buy, yep, yep. you know that new TV you want. You're getting taxed three or four different times down the line. Right. The difference is, is those taxes are stolen at every single fucking point down but, the line. Whereas in Europe, they're what? They're what they're being disingenuous how they're taxing you, but you're still getting taxed the same or more yeah. than European countries. It's just that the European countries have a tendency to use those taxes for the people. So let's go back to this. Disingenuously, they're fucking we're getting taxed the same or more than other countries, right? Yeah. It's just not being used. That's what pisses me off about it. I'm cool with you taxing me, but I want to see some fucking return. It's being used for <laughs> someone's fourth yacht. 
Somebody's fourth yacht. Uh, on Triple the subject of misused funds, did you see that the uh, Washington State paid FMLA program is scheduled to become insolvent by March? No, yeah. this, really. This thing just fucking got going last year. Yeah, and I didn't it's already going to be out of money by fucking March. You don't have a choice. Yeah, you don't have a choice. It comes coming out of your paycheck. paycheck regardless. I thought that was something that you could opt out of if you already have. No. Uh, that, that was the long-term care you cannot insurance. opt out of that you cannot opt out of the fmla so hold tax. on hold on the, the long-term care you cannot opt out of either you can if if you have if you already have a program set up and you already have long-term care insurance in washington state you can opt out of the program but you have to show proof that you're continuing to keep up with Fuck that insurance off. quit taxing me you motherfuckers I, see, and with the long-term care insurance it's one of those things where all the all the people from idaho and all the you know the trump supporters at work are like this is fucked up because they believe. don't qualify yeah it's like yeah all these people are just like it's fucked up it's, and i was like you motherfuckers you work at, you you live in a state that's so fucking star spangled awesome but you don't want to fucking work there I even, I even told them a couple months ago, I was like, listen, motherfucker, if I had it my way, you'd have an out-of-state workers tax put on you. Five, five percent. Match Idaho's state income tax. Because you don't pay for our fucking roads. You, you don't buy tabs from Washington State. And we, you know, Washington State funds Idaho anyways. I mean, the, the money that we're making. Oh, yeah. in federal, oh okay. Yeah, oh, exactly. So it's like, me. if your state's so awesome... Why the fuck can't you work there? Yeah. So it's it's interesting. Blue states fund, because that's where all the money is, they fund other states so they can actually operate. People don't realize that. There is oh, states out that. there. What's that? I realize that. No, sure. no, I know. But the, some of the people in on the, the red side don't realize. Your state would go bankrupt if it wasn't for blue states throwing into the pie and lifting everybody up. Well, the funny thing is, is most of the blue states is, I believe, don't have income taxes on their citizens, mm. but almost all the red states do. It's like, well, I, I, I think I don't, I don't even get how people can support that. Yeah. Like Oregon gets around it by heavily taxing uh, um, property taxes and all that stuff. But we don't have a grocery tax. Was it, yeah. yeah, yeah. You if food is not taxed in Washington State. But Idaho, yeah, our gas is, tax is, is outrageous. Yeah. But I mean, the the red states car. actually take more money out Back of off. their citizens' pockets mm. than blue states do. Yeah. But you'd never hear them talking about that because that would go against the point that their state is, you know, the home of the true Americans, the real, the real patriots. Yeah. It's fucked. They're just ill-informed or there isn't No, it's not being ill-informed to that extent. This is stubborn. this is cognitive dissonance at its finest. Aye. It's it's knowing something but not being willing to accept the facts. Why would you Because they that you're go wrong. because they go it's against weak. the narrative that you've listen to for who knows how long and that you've been spewing to you know every asshole that'll listen to you right you know it goes against everything you say you stand for so you just <laughs> choose to ignore it i don't I, I don't know that that's true when you have no other source of information uh, i go back to when i was in the military so but, you, you go back to hold on you go back to the basic training <clears throat> and i remember your information was dead there was no information coming in and when that's nice you look like the ring when uh appreciate that yeah no problem when uh they brought in news that the subways of japan were under had gotten gassed i think at the time it was like, holy shit, what's happening to the world? Then that was, a, the world was fine. There was just a, a little attack on the subway in, in, in uh, Japan. But if you're force fed certain information, that's what you believe, right? I can, but great, these people have a choice. They don't have a choice. Yes, they do. 
any single one of us can look at any news source and multiple news sources is the ideal way to do it so you can actually corroborate whether this information is being reported the same across different outlets all of us have a choice of where we get our news so you... none of us are my your comcast tv package in any home in this country they don't say, oh, by the way, we're only going to let you watch MSNBC because that's that's no, where but, our values lie. You uh, can you can get your news and information from anywhere you choose to. It's all a choice. Right. So where do you it's, get yours from? I mean, I'll occasionally watch MSNBC. I'll, Boo. I'll read CNN. I'll read Fox News. I'll, I mean, I'll just but, go on Reddit where they accumulate exactly, exactly. knowledge from many different news sources. And you'll no. find so, a lot of the same articles I can, on there from different I, sources I know, that but confirm each other. Reddit is left-leaning. So when you pop up the yes, news, it is you're going to get the hill. You're going to get these. So you're, you're... But you still get every other news source on there. You still Sometimes. Have, you still have the opportunity Reddit's fucked because it, it's it's in my feed. They they're looking at what I look at and they put it in my fucking feed, and it's well, all that's not how Reddit works. It's all left leaning. It's, it, it's voted on. Yeah, I don't think there's a right there's, uh, there's algorithm. No algorithm for choosing and, what displays mm -hmm. at the top. You're front page though. Whatever. Yeah, you're front page. No, I'm talking about when I go to news. No, it's, those are it's articles all, that are voted on by the community. That's why they okay, rise so, up. So they're all left leaning. Every single one of them is left leaning. It's because they're right. <laughs> no, they're you not right. You obviously haven't read a lot of Hill articles if you're saying that that is entirely left leaning because the Hill goes back and forth. There all is. The time. Uh, regardless of where you go you're going to be pushed a certain direction you on reddit you're getting pushed left okay well then maybe reddit's a bad example of it NPR. but there are, you can go to google npr is super left too you know that you can go to google news and it'll give oh, you fuck, fuck it. okay no, uh, if, if you're just going to shoot down every single option that is available for everybody in the world then no, what I like. There's no point in having this conversation. There is no point in if having this conversation. Nothing is good enough that we all may as well just bury our heads in the there sand. There is nothing good enough. You, what you said earlier was correct. You have to go to multiple sources, and I don't think that you do. I think that you go to Reddit mostly, and you get what you have on the left leaning. I only use one. Nah. There's only one I can trust, and that's the Onion. That's the most I'll slap that hair right off your so fucking face. I swear to God, I will. Are we about ready to call this? I don't know how long have we been doing. I don't know. We're approaching like I think we're right at oh one twenty. One thing that I want to do before we go Zero. is uh, we had an idea of uh, every once in a while we're gonna have story time with Andrew. This is on me, and so I can talk uh, about my rash if you want. What's your I rash? I want to hear about your rash. Yeah, you want to hear about it? Absolutely. I was thinking about mentioning it at the beginning because this has been a two months traumatic experience that I really want to move past. Is this, and I think hold now on. that I'm towards the end of this whole situation, I'm ready to yeah. talk about hold it. Hold on. Is this on your balls? Oh, it was on my shaft, my balls. Can we it, see it? Like the did, whole thing. Did you, did you have a yeast infection? No, I did not. And you're not going to fucking believe what it was. Fucking ringworm. On your cock? Yeah, so it started. I, that, I, should, I, mean, I had that show up on my face you, once. You, but... you can't even, you can barely see it now because I've been putting the shit oh, I can on it. see it. But it made it from there mm -hmm. to there and then got entirely over my fucking ball sack, right. my shaft, the head of my cock, and everything. <laughs> and don't, it, don't move out of the picture, fucker. It, is the mo it was the most fucking traumatized. Wow. I have never showed my cock to so many women I don't know right. in my life. Wow. I mean, every time I went to the fucking doctor for it, it was a, it was a female doctor. How come we didn't hear about this? We could have been getting updates well, on your because cock. because it was traumatic. It was oh, stressful. I didn't want for to what? talk about it, you know, when I'm in the heat of the situation. First time I go to the fucking doctor, she's like, oh, it looks like an allergic reaction. So they gave me steroids. Mm -hmm. Great. It worked for about two days, and then it fucking started coming back with a vengeance. Did it swell? Yikes. No, no, but it was red. You didn't get it, thicker. It was it, <laughs> like the skin never broke or anything. Right. Like there was never anything coming out of it. It. And the crazy thing is, it never itched. It never burned. What? It was the weirdest thing ever. And all the nurses pointed that out too. She's so, like, normally this would be unbearable for anybody. So to did deal you and with. your wife have sex with this? No. No. We, two months. We, yeah. 
Well, you could glove, right? Well, why would you want to? It's a, Should I get laid? I mean, but you're still talking about something that is absurdly transmissible. Yeah. I mean, it is like crazy transmissible. Like you can touch your arm right there mm -hmm. and touch somewhere else. And if you don't shower that day, it right. can take hold. Mm. So fuck, I've been, you know, creaming up all over my fucking nuts and everything right. for the last goddamn month almost. I imagine. And so with like what athlete's foot shit? Yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. Did you jack off with it? Fuck no, I didn't. <laughs> that might that might be useful. Well, because you, you could get it in everywhere, right? Absolutely. You're stretching yeah, the skin. I, I just really don't think that's a wise approach to the whole situation well, you never but know. this whole thing has fucking sucked like i have mm. not been under as much stress you call it ring sperm Ooh, you do I, I'm like this has been so stressful that i've mm. actually lost weight what Un and i unintentionally over the last two months because of this whole fucking thing so where did you get this ringworm from your dog i have no idea oh my it god just, it just popped up one day and Decided to make a home on your cock. Yeah. Wow. And it fucking sucked. Yeah. And now I'm to the point where it's like it's gone. But now I'm hesitant to stop using the cream because it's like I you don't enjoy want, it. I don't want it to come back with <laughs> you a fucking, fucking like it. Vengeance or something. He likes the cream on his spot. cock. So it's like it's like fuck. What do I do now? Dude, it sounds I'm like... so gun shy about it that I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop fucking using this cream now. It kind of sounds like you're enjoying the cream. No, I'm not, because <laughs> my sh my shower. I go through twice as many fucking towels, twice as many what? fucking underwear. I my showers and my normal cleaning of my body takes so much fucking longer than it used to. I just want it to be done and over with. Right. But now it's like I don't know when it will. Even though we're at the end of it, end it's of like, it. if it ever came back, mm -hmm. I might just fucking kill myself. Because holy fuck. But how do you know it would go to your experience. cock and balls again? Huh? Why Why would it go Why would it go to your because cock and balls? Because if you miss a spot yeah. that you don't notice, it can spread back from that one fucking Ooh. spot. If you don't get it did all, you have, okay, hold it, on. It, it's fucked. So did you have like a cat or a dog licking your balls? No, I did not. Then how did you get it on your cock and balls? Because of this fucking mark, <laughs> part of it on my arm. Yeah, it sounds I like dried myself off because I dry myself from the top to the bottom. Mm. So somewhere along the line, shit from there got shit to there, but nowhere else. And, no, I'm guessing <laughs> that's my what cock I'm confused is just about. Highly susceptible to a uh, fucking what? It, what would it be called? A fungus? There's fungus among us. Yeah, and it's fucked. Horrible experience. And I, here's what I think happened. I'm breathing in your your dick spores right now. From Maybe me. you never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it could be you, too yeah, close you, to you. I'm thinking you went in the bathroom. Here's what I'm thinking happened. You took your shower. You yanked off in the fucking shower, right? As you, one does. As one does. It feels like sandpaper. What does? Yank it off in the shower. Why? Are you gonna use a bar of soap? There's no way that that's. What? An acceptable way what of jerking off. What you? I've got a bottle of lube in my shower. What? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> no. Well, what if you what want to straight what water? What if you want to do a quickie? You use conditioner. What the fuck what? are you thinking? That's got to burn. I don't know. I've There's never used it. There's no way that that's so Yeah, feeling... that can't be good. See, when you said you had lube, I had to come up with something. Uh, yeah, I got water-based lubricant in the, in the shower. What's wrong with that? I'm a married man. <laughs> Shit happens. Oh I, mean, my I, God. I don't understand yeah. what the judgment is about this. I really don't. You just gotta use water. Don't You're looking lube. at me like doesn't, I'm a weirdo right now. Doesn't it, it immediately makes sense to me? Yeah, well, it should. Oh, I'm just contemplating where I can get some fucking water-based lube. I just, I mean, literally shower anywhere. Lube. Anywhere. Yeah, uh, it's not like it's. What are we talking about? Are we? To, well, does it have a name brand? There's a lot. Uh, I mean, there's you, probably you, just as much water-based lube as silicone-based oh, lube. Oh, really? Absolutely, is more. Because like I use Astroglide. I use that's a brand. Yeah, I use uh, a, what is it? KY. Oh, KY. Yeah. I mean, every, that, that's, every single company's got to have a, a silicone base if they have water. Well, that's why I use sure. WD-40. That's what you do. Only if you want your dick to melt. What? You can't talk about anything, Remorn Cock. Well, it, it, it's, <laughs> Jesus you can't Christ. call me that anymore because it's gone now. We don't know that it's gone. It well, could be in a crevice on your cock. It, it could be, but I'm, 
I'm careful. Yeah. I'm have you ever had any- that shit on? I'm, have you ever had anything like that? I've had ringworm on my face before. On your but face, but it never spread. It was just like one ring mm-hmm. on my face when I was like 11. Never had ringworm. <clears throat> no. No, I had a yeast infection, mm. and that was spread on the outside of my legs, and it was mm. painful on the inside of my legs. I should say. And it was the same thing. You go to the store and you get like Tenactin athlete foot yep. bullshit and you put it on and you have to let it air out. So I'm just sitting around the house with my cock and balls hanging out with fucking this white bullshit that turns into fucking, it turns hard, hard white, right? Hmm. Does it? Interesting. We must not Maybe have the same to. cream then. Well, this was years ago when I got it. Yikes. So. Fungal, fungal infection. Yeah, it hasn't been fun. And I go I don't know why you didn't let us know about this two months earlier. Because it's fucking traumatic. No, it's you're worried about it. Is no, yeah, about it stresses me out. Now yeah. that it, we're getting towards the end of the situation, it doesn't stress me out. So I feel like I can open up about it. How how far along is your wife in the pregnancy now? Uh, seventeen. Oh fuck, weeks? man. Eighteen weeks, somewhere in there. So that's four months. And it's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. So is she getting to that point where she's super horny? Yeah. So you haven't had sex in two months? I think because after the steroids kind of cleared it, like cleared it for like a brief day, I think we had sex then. But no, I, she's been, there have been a lot of complaints the last couple of weeks about the lack of fun see the gears turning <laughs> yeah no well that's the... what i'm saying he's gonna he's gonna go blow her up here well I, i'm just i'm the fucking I, but see it's me that doesn't feel comfortable with it, it it's not it's still in it's your head her. she would like if i was willing she would be down so she could but have I, ringworm I, on the inside of her no because and your baby pops out with a big of, fucking circle around fung- its face that kind of fungal infection can only infect the outside of skin it can't get into your bloodstream uh-huh. it can't survive in your body Right. So it it's not exactly a huge worry. So is but he, would you want to have is a fungal inst- infection <laughs> in between the lips on the outside of your vagina? I mean, I can't. After what I've been dealing with, mm-hmm. I can't imagine. But you said it wasn't painful that. for me. But the cream burns. But I. But we've proven that I have an exceptional pain tolerance. Yeah, kind of. I mean, so I, you, I you saw you jump a, quite a few times on the last shock trivia. I, I can't. That's because you bought a fucking shot collar that basically maxed it out the other one halfway through. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I honestly can't tell you how anyone else would experience it. But no, it didn't burn. It didn't break my skin. It wasn't uncomfortable. It wasn't itchy. Nothing. We can experiment. Right. You can give me some ringworm. No, and fuck I can tell no. you how it is. Get your cock out. <laughs> nice you two get your cocks out. Touch them together. Nope. <laughs> just rub the heads together real quick. Yeah. Not even just the Dog. tip. Why not? Because I would never subject someone else to what I've been through the last. Oh, but months. normally you'd rub. If Andrew wanted, you guys rub head to head. Under normal <laughs> circumstances, <laughs> we, could, we, we could discuss the topic. This sure. is why you yeah, should I mean, be in charge of running the, or creating the AI because you are. That's altruistic. <laughs> I don't want to. Tip to tip. Yeah, I don't want to give you anything bad for yourself. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Well. Okay. I think we call it. We somewhere we'll insert. Uh, we insert the. Do you still have the? The story you wanted to do? I I never wanted to do it, but I can do it. <laughs> well, yeah. I think we need to do that. In so, the universe, do I want to read that story? So, Zach, go ahead and, uh, yeah, it was perfect. Go ahead and hit stop. <laughs>